fantasy analysis of the Lions draft, the KFC Zinger Studio. I think everything you guys said about the Lions draft makes sense, but there's one thing that's great for fantasy owners. No running backs on that draft board, and that means good things for Amir Abdullah. It means good things for Theo Riddick. And Dave, you know how much I like Amir Abdullah, and this is a great situation for him because they did some nice things on the offensive line in the offseason. And I think you're going to see Amir Abdullah, if he's healthy, which all signs point to being healthy, he'll be a very good number two fantasy running back. He'll be healthy to start the season. Whether or not he makes it through the season remains to be seen. The problem is, is that the Lions have gotten into this groove where they're happy using two running backs, and that might even expand to three running backs this year because they still have Dwayne Washington, they still have Zach Zenner to go along with Theo Riddick and Amir Abdullah. But those guys were bad last year. But no guy is going to be the heavy workload guy. So I'll admit, I think Amir Abdullah is going to be the best one of this group. I'll draft him ahead of Riddick, Zenner, Washington, and all the other scrubs that they've got behind them. But I don't know if I can count on Amir Abdullah as anything more than a low-end number two fantasy running back. Does he have the upside for it? Sure, but I don't know where he's going to get a lot of touchdowns from because Riddick could be the guy that steals from him at the goal line. Very true. He could also be this year's Melvin Gordon as a guy that has an opportunity to step into a very nice role behind a good offensive line and steps into some nice mm -hmm. production, but Riddick could take away from that. Now, there